What's up, big soccer heads? I'm Eric Krakauer. Another dose of transfer talk on this week's Transfer Wire. And you know the drill. If the rumor is rampant, the stock is high. However, we start with a dipping stock after Inter Miami Sporting Director Paul McDonough essentially dismissed any talk of Arturo Vidal or Gareth Bale joining the club as just rumors. Last week, McDonough suggested pretty much the same thing about James Rodriguez, despite there being reports that David Beckham had reached out to Real Madrid president Florentino Perez to inquire about the Colombian's availability. If you've been paying any attention at all to the latest transfer stories, you'll know that there have been a number of high-profile players linked with Inter Miami over the last few weeks. What else is there to talk about? And McDonough is just doing his part to curb expectations that the MLS expansion team will fill its one remaining DP spot with a bona fide soccer superstar, which understandably, club supporters are clamoring for. However, it's a little difficult to lower those expectations when Arturo Vidal is tweeting out a picture of himself with Inter Miami's crest in the background and then deleting it. Come on, Arturo, you know what happens once you put something on the internet. As for Bale, the Welsh international basically said a few casual nice things about Major League Soccer and the rumors ensued. It's been well publicized that both players are surplus to requirements at Barcelona and Real Madrid, but a move to MLS does not appear to be in the cards. Although I wouldn't give up on James Rodriguez just yet, it just seems too good a fit for it not to happen. Inter-Miami supporters will also be happy to know that a loan deal for 20-year-old Agustin Almendra of Boca Juniors is close to being finalized. Speaking of Arturo Vidal and his much-reported potential Barcelona departure, stock is up on the Catalan club executing a swap deal with Juventus for Bosnian Miralem Pjanic. That is according to Juve CFO Fabio Paratici, who revealed that there was an open dialogue going on between both clubs. The Barca player most frequently associated with the trade is Artur Melo, who only signed from Gremio in the summer of 2018 and has drawn comparisons to Xavi Hernandez since arriving at Camp Nou. However, as my colleague and legendary broadcaster Ray Hudson likes to say, Arthur hasn't hit the operatic high notes in Blaugrana Colors and an exit probably wouldn't ruffle too many feathers. I for one can't quite figure out Barcelona's pursuit of Pjanic. No one will dispute the fact that he's a wonderful player, but Barca are bursting at the seams with center mids and relinquishing a player that at 23 has his best years ahead of him for a 30 year old simply does not make sense. That being said, given the financial strains caused by the coronavirus, don't be surprised if trades of this nature become a regular feature of footballing transfer talk, much like we see in the NBA. Sticking with Barcelona, because why not? The Lautaro Martinez to Catalonia stock is trending upwards, with Spanish publication Sport reporting that Barcelona and Inter have finally reached an agreement over the Argentine Ford. That deal would send $65 million plus two players to Inter in exchange for Lautaro, who apparently has made it known that he wishes to play alongside compatriot Lionel Messi. Now, there are plenty of players that Barcelona are willing to ship off, among them Ivan Rakitic and Nelson Semedo, whose names are said to be headlining the deal. There is one problem, though. The relationship between the Croatian and the club has soured significantly over the last few months, and how could it not? Barcelona are practically, or have been practically, kicking the player out the door. And with a year left in his deal, Rakitic knows that he has all the leverage. And it seems he has no intention on leaving Spain, with sources suggesting that the 32-year-old will only pack his bags for Sevilla, who would welcome Rakitic back with open arms, but will not pay his transfer fee. This is a story that is really going to drag on. Nelson Semedo is also feeling unappreciated in Barcelona, and word in the Portuguese press is that he'll gladly move to Serie A, where he'd be a perfect fit in Antonio Conte's system, which is reliant on explosive wingbacks. Finally, there is a very good chance that we will indeed see Kylian Mbappe in a Real Madrid jersey after all, just not in the near future. Various publications are reporting that the players' representatives and PSG are currently in contract extension talks. A new contract will significantly increase Mbappe's wages, but it will also include a release clause in case Real Madrid or another club, but mostly Real Madrid, pony up the cash to take him to Madrid. The fee hasn't been disclosed, but you'd bet your house that PSG will be confident it is an amount Los Blancos won't be able to afford for some time given the impact that the current pandemic 
has had on every club's finances. Stay on top of all the latest soccer news by logging on to beinsports.com.